Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So if you're into Samsung Galaxy AI or just awesome phone features, you've come to the right place. Today I'm showing you seven cool new features in One UI 8 that I'm trying out on my Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, but most of them are rolling out to other Galaxy phones too. So if you like what you see, smash the like button, drop me a comment with your favorite feature and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss what's next. So let's begin. So feature number one is where you can get your fingerprint effect on the lock screen. So using the good lock module called Lockstar, One UI 8 adds new visual effects that play when you unlock your phone using your fingerprint scanner. So example, it includes a water ripple effect, sparkle, ghost or emoji animation, or circles, burst, and many more. So let me show you how you can turn this feature on. So here you need to go ahead and first open up the good lock app. In the good lock app, you need to go ahead and install the Lockstar module. So you need to make sure you're on version 7.0.01.10. The next thing is you wanna go ahead and long press on the home screen, tap on wallpaper and style, then tap on your lock screen. Now here you'll see your fingerprint. So go ahead and tap on this. Now you can go ahead and choose all these different effects. So you can go ahead and choose like a round effect, some ghost effect, fireworks, circle, anything you like. So I'll go ahead and choose this one here. And now press done at the top right. And now go ahead and test it out by locking it. Wake it up. So this makes unlocking more fun and personal. It adds a bit of flair instead of just a plain unlock. It helps distinguish your phone visually. Everyone has a fingerprint unlock, but not everyone has a style of animation, which you have. This also boosts the premium custom feel of the UI. Feature number two is where you have your adaptive clock on your lock screen. So the lock screen clock dynamically adjust. It can wrap around or move in response to the main subject in your wallpaper. So like people, pets. So the shape position and the font of the clock will adjust so it doesn't cover or clash with the prominent subject in the wallpaper. So you can go ahead and drag the clock around and choose different styles and different positions. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and long press on our home screen, tap on wallpaper and style. Here we'll tap on our lock screen. So here we can go ahead and try it out. Let's see if this works on this wallpaper since I have a subject, the Pink Panther. So we'll go ahead and change the clock. We'll go ahead and choose a different plane style. Then we'll go ahead and find the adaptive clock. As you can see, there is no adaptive clock as we are looking for the number 12, which is moving up and down. So it's changing in size. So for this, I need to go ahead and change the wallpaper. So I'll go ahead and change this wallpaper to something where I have a subject. So let's just say, for example, this lady here. Now we'll go ahead and try it out again, the clock. So as you can see, I've changed the wallpaper and now I'm getting this new option where we have the clock moving. So you have the adaptive style where you have the clock changing the font. So now you wanna go ahead and choose your style. And then now you wanna go ahead and play around with the position. So you can go ahead and move it anywhere you like. Go ahead and make it bigger. So as you can see, wherever I move it, the clock is trying to avoid covering the subject. So you can go ahead and place this time anywhere you like on screen and the clock font will change according to that. It'll try not to cover the subject here. Now, once you're happy with that, tap done. And now when you go ahead and view your lock screen, you'll see that the clock is not covering the subject and it's adapting to the subject in the wallpaper. So this makes the lock screen look way more polished and alive. So the UI adapts rather than being static. It helps visibility. The clock avoids covering faces or pets. So the time remains legible and the picture remains visually pleasing. And it adds a nice aesthetic touch that makes your daily unlocking more pleasant. Feature number three is where you have your new wallpaper selection from Samsung AI. So One UI offers improved auto-created wallpapers from your gallery and this is searched by Samsung's AI. So wallpapers are more intelligently suggested, possibly generated and adapted based on your style, background, and device. So it'll basically go through your gallery and will just suggest you the wallpapers that you should apply on your lock screen. So let me show you where you can find this. So here we'll go ahead and long press on the home screen, tap on wallpaper and style. Now we'll go ahead and tap on lock screen. Now from here, we'll tap on wallpaper. And now in this screen, within the gallery section, you'll see the suggested images. So if you tap on this, you'll see all these suggested images in your gallery. 
So this is what Samsung Galaxy AI has done for you. It has gone through your gallery and it has found the photos that you should apply to your wallpaper. So as you can see, I've seen, I have some pictures of dogs. I have some pictures of humans as well. And you can go ahead and choose anything you like. So this basically saves you time. You don't have to go hunting for good wallpapers. They're suggested or matched for you by Samsung Galaxy AI. You have a coordinated look, so wallpapers that work better with the new adaptive and dynamic features, so you avoid weird overlaps or bad visibility, and this way you have more variety and more personalization. Feature number four is where you can get new color dynamic wallpapers. So this is a dynamic wallpaper that changes depending on the time of the day, lighting, and maybe even ambient conditions. So the color shift morning, afternoon, evening looks different. So it gives you a wallpaper or a color theme that adapts over time. So let me show you how to apply this. So first you wanna go ahead and long press on your home screen. Next, you wanna tap on wallpaper and style. Here you wanna go ahead and tap on your lock screen. Now from here, tap on wallpaper at the top left and scroll down all the way until you see your colors. So here you have two dynamic wallpaper options. So go ahead and tap any of them. And now you can go ahead and apply it. So as you can see, it's basically changing color. So this will basically change colors according to your time of the day. You can go ahead and choose all the different styles which are available. Now when you go ahead and set it to this, you'll notice that the wallpaper will change according to the time. So this keeps your phone looking fresh throughout the day. Your screen doesn't get stale. So you have a better ambience. So morning colors could be bright, midday could be richer, evening could be softer. So which is more pleasing to the eyes? It maybe helps with battery or eye comfort if it dims or shifts at the night. Feature number five is where you have your new app called Gallery Assistant. So Samsung has introduced the Gallery Assistant in One UI 8. So it brings together many photos or videos tools into one place. So you have batch editing. You can apply edits to multiple items. You have compression, rotation, flipping, object clipping, you have watermarking, and you have advanced cropping. So it's designed to simplify editing and media organization on your phone itself. So let me show you the new app. So here we'll go ahead and open up Gallery Assistant. So this is the new app, which you have on One UI 8. I have searched the Google Play Store and the Galaxy Store. However, I was not able to see it. So I'm thinking this is only available right now in some countries and in other countries, it's slowly rolling out to users. So for those of you who are interested in downloading this app, I have left a link in the description down below so you can go ahead and download it and install it. So as you can see, these are all the tools which you can use in this app. So you can reduce, rotate and flip, image clip, add a watermark, compare images, save as PDF and print. The good thing here is that you can do it in batches. So if you tap plus, and if I go ahead and choose different wallpapers, now, as you can see, I've got four images. Now with that four image, I can go ahead and reduce this size in one go. I can rotate and flip in one go, so I can straighten it, rotate it, flip it. I can clip the images in one go as well. So as you can see, it's already doing that for me. So it's clipped the Pig Panther, Tom and Jerry, my tomato plants, and someone here. I can add watermarks in one go as well. I can compare those images so I can compare two by two, three by three, or all four together. Next, I can go ahead and save it as a PDF. And then lastly, I can print these images. So this basically makes you much more efficient if you do repetitive edits on many photos or videos. It helps you save space, it tidy up your album more easily, and it puts more tools in one place. So it's less jumping between different apps and menus. Feature number six, now Audio Eraser has been updated. So an AI power tool in gallery that analyzes video audio track. It separates out the different sound source like voices, wind, crowd, nature, and ambient noise, and lets you reduce or remove unwanted sound. So in One UI 8, they have made an improvement where you don't need to go ahead and go into Galaxy AI. You can go ahead and apply audio eraser on the clip itself without going into Galaxy AI. So let me show you how to do this. So here I'll go ahead and open up gallery and I'll go ahead and open up one of my video which I've created. Now here you can go ahead and tap on the sound. And when you unmute this video, you'll see this audio eraser. In One UI 7.0, you needed to go into Galaxy AI. Now from here, this will basically analyze your video and it will give you all the suggestions. However, in One UI 8.0, they have now included the option just on your gallery. So you can go ahead and quickly tap on that 
icon and this will completely erase the noise from your videos. So this basically improves your audio quality. It makes your audio more cleaner, more professional. It's very helpful if you're recording in a noisy situation and it saves the editing effort. You have less steps to go into and you can quickly just tap on that and erase the audio. So there's no need of an external software on your Samsung Galaxy device. And lastly, feature number seven is where we have Portrait Studio for animals. So the Portrait Studio was previously for human face. However, it has now been upgraded in One UI 8 to support pet images, animal portraits, and avatars. So the system can detect pet facial features like eyes, nose, and ears, and convert them into stylish avatar or portrait style effects in comic, sketch, and watercolor. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll first go ahead and unlock the phone. We'll go into gallery, and here we'll go ahead and find some portrait images of animals. So let's just say, for example, this one here. Now we'll take this image and we'll take it through the portrait studio. So we'll go ahead and tap on Galaxy AI. Now we'll go ahead and swipe left until you see portrait studio. So as you can see, it has detected the dog as there is a square around it. Now you can go ahead and choose a studio, 3D cartoon, fisheye lens, oil painting. So I'll go ahead and choose a studio and I'll tap on generate. So as you can see, it has changed your background for your pet. You can go ahead and choose a 3D cartoon. Oh, let's try a fisheye lens. And let's try the oil painting. So this is awesome for pet owners. It lets you capture and stylish your pet's photo creatively. So it's more fun. You have more variety in avatars, style portraits. It makes the sharing cute pet pictures more interesting as well. And it expands inclusivity in AI avatars as well. So not just people, not just animals, also avatars. Please note, these all features are tested on Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, so they tend to work best here. Some are already available and some will be rolled out to other eligible Samsung devices in the weeks coming. So some features rely on wallpapers having a clear subject, a good contrast to let the adaptive clock feature detect outline properly. So if the subject is ambiguous, the adapter clock may not wrap properly. So those are seven of my favorite One UI 8 enhancements so far on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. I love how Samsung is bringing more AI personalization into the mix. Things like adaptive clock, fingerprint unlocks, and pet avatar are small touches, but they really add up to a better, more fun experience. So which one you'll try first, or is there a feature I missed that you want me to test or explain? Drop it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like if this helped you out. Subscribe for more Samsung or Galaxy AI tips and hit the bell notification so you're notified for my next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.